Welcome to Chrome Face 52 Transformer Review. Today we have Rod Doril from the Machine Build line. This is zero 01. This is a different and new line from the old Battle Robo line. Machine Robo Revenge of Kronos. While it's very similar, these are new and different. First, we'll take a look at the packaging. We have vehicle mode on one side, machine build one, Bandai Namco, Rod Doril from Mega House in robot mode. Yup, there he is. Woo! So he comes in parts. You have to assemble them yourself, which is all good. Take a close look at the head. I chose this head because it is the most GoBot accurate toy head. I went with the normal fists. Unfortunately, these are, I believe, only 2 millimeter openings, so they cannot hold the core class 3 millimeter blasters. Just not compatible. So you're kind of limited on that. But otherwise, this guy has got some great mobility, except that he does. He seems to fall apart pretty easily. This guy is more of a model kit than an action figure. Alright, we got him. We got him. Okay. He does have quite a bit of flexibility. Though he does tend to not stand very well. You're going to have to lean him. He has a tendency to fall apart, continuously fall apart. Good Lord have mercy. So this is, the ankle is held on by this one peg. Which is three millimeter. So if you want to put a blaster in there, nope, nope, that does not work, that is not, that's more than 3mm, so this guy really isn't compatible with anything, definitely, definitely a drawback there, getting his foot in, seems to be a bit of a chore, okay. So he has a problem with his feet. His feet tend to fall backwards. It's, it's kind of hard to get him to actually stand up straight. I mean, that's just me. But as you can see, he has some awkward posturing going on. Alternative, the alternative heads, he's got a wide visor with open mouth, and if you notice, the drill texture is, is flat, so I don't know if that's a take on the animation, and here's a, here's another dull version, yeah, that's the word I want, dull, his head is dull, with big eyes and then the uh, mouth guard or cover. I don't care. 
Alternatively, you have these G1 looking fists, these pinchers, if you will. Again, that's more of a two millimeter hole. They don't really open. They're solid, they're solid end, so you can't really slide anything in there. Then you have a pair of open hand. And then for vehicle mode, you have this alternate drill, long drill, but there is no, no face in this drill. I did try to see if he would hold the long drill bit, kind of like a makeshift sword, but again, all the pegs are too big for the peg holes. That is a common problem around here. The head is on a 3 milli peg, so our wonderful Rod Dorel can't hold it himself, but hey, Megatron can hold them pretty good. Rod Dorel next to G1 screw head. This is my original screw head from my childhood. Um, as you can see, he's arm peg is broke off there, so he's, the arm is around here somewhere, it's just, you know, he's just, yeah, he's a little flimsy, but not really, he's actually less flimsy than this guy in the end of the day, he's a little back heavy, still weighs more, half the size and twice the weight, god I messed die cast, here he is next to core class Megatron, so here he is next to Battle Robo Tank. So as you can see, they're they're the same scale, but but uh, I think uh, Battle Robo is by far a much superior figure. He's heavy. He has diecast parts. He comes with the display stand. While. Our machine robo here's to start off to a bad start here. It's all plastic. Not not the greatest plastic either from what I could tell. It's but Will they work together? Sure. You know I But at the end of the day I am kind of disappointed after after having Battle Robo. I don't know, Machine Robo 1 is kind of, kind of a letdown, because at least, but his hands are too small, his hands are too big, either way, not compatible with 3 millis. So to transform, uh, just very similar to his G1 counterpart, so we have uh, these calf flaps that open up, and then... They snap together, the feet fold up in, the arms get nice and straight, and the shoulders turn inward, very reminiscent of G1. So, uh, a little more flimsy here, he is quite flimsy. Okay, so this, alright, so he goes around, goes around, goes around, come on. Yeah, don't, I'm not liking that. There we go. So, doesn't, doesn't fold up cleanly, but then once, once you get it folded around, then you get his thighs shoved up into his calves. Get those flaps connected to each other. And you can straighten out the arms. But. So that's really all there is to it. You can swap out the head cone for the long piece. This is what the instructions tell you to do. So there he is in vehicle mode. Now the instructions say that we can swap out the headpiece there. 
But the instructions say don't, don't stand them up like this. Don't do that. Okay? Don't, don't have the cone pointed upward like that. You might poke your eye out. Not sure what's up with that. So there he is in vehicle mode. There he is next to what's left of my G1. And core class Optimus Prime. So there he is. Machine Robo 1. Rod Doril, a.k.a. Screwhead. Go, go, mighty GoBots or some shit. Ow. Chrome face out. Oh!